Charlie West and Pastor Robert Scott of Freedom Church of God in Edmonton, Alberta here. We, as mankind, were given dominion, power, and authority. Yes. And then when we accept Jesus in our life as our divine master and savior, we really can, or we should be able to speak that authority, change yes. things, but Christians really haven't done that, have no. they, Pastor Robert? And that's why we ask the questions, Christians, where did the power go? I mean, Jesus said, you will do the works that I do and greater works. Because yeah. I go to my Father and I give you the power, that Holy Spirit power in you. You've got Him in you, you've got me in you, you've got the Father. So what's the excuse? Well, we're, we're, Christians have been asleep. They've been asleep. And you don't have much power when you're sleeping. I know back in uh, Benin, uh, our pastor there would say, uh, in English, Jesus, and the whole congregation oh, yeah. would say, power. power. But it's not just to say it, it's to use that power. Yeah. And very few Christians are doing it. Now, we do have Christians in China who are doing that. We have, so they're keeping the, the Sabbath day, the holy days, and they had actually come to them. The government came and shot their pastor to death, murdered him. Well, they could have protected themselves from that, but in any case, they raised their pastor from the dead. Imagine, <laughs> they spoke you know, life into that pastor. He rose from the dead, and now the government is in fear of these Christians. They say, well, we don't want to hassle with these guys. They know what they're doing. They got power. And they have more power than the government. But sadly, in the United States and Canada, we have not, as believers, exercised the power of prayer that we should have and the words of speaking words and blessing our leaders. And that's why we're going down, 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 because Christians have lost their power. How about you? Have you lost your power? Or do you spend time daily in prayer to God? Do you read the Word of God? Do you speak out the Word of God with confidence because you know who you are? in Jesus. You know that you're a son of God or a daughter of God, dwelling in his light and his life and dwelling in his power. So what it, what's it like for you? Are you a powerful believer or are you one of those Christians like uh, like you know, like Charlie here is rocking you know, rock a bit and just, just rock they rock on their front porch and just don't get anywhere time. though. And they don't get anywhere. But you know you gotta be a, a powerful believer in Jesus to know the word, to speak the word and not to be a lazy Christian. You can do it, and we can do it, because we have grace, and that's the name of Jesus. He's, he is the grace mm -hmm. in us. He's got the power. So he's saying, it's not by might, by human strength, by mankind's strength, not by might or power, but by my spirit, says the Eternal. That's the word of God. We pray that you will be able to rise as the Benjamin generation in these last days, to know who you are in Jesus, and to walk in power and change the world around you.